So I've just arrived to my second school in, in Ljubljana, Slovenia. And, and what is the name of this school here? This is, the name is Biotechnički Zobraževalni Centar Ljubljana, which means Biotechnical Education Center Ljubljana. And it is specialized in uh, food and food processing processes. Okay, and we're in the what? The city of Ljubljana? Yeah, we are in the city center on the right side of the river Ljubljanica. Okay, great. It looks like a pretty nice area here. Here we go. So we've arrived here inside this culinary school. And as you can see, here's a poster. It shows what some of the kids actually do and what they prepare. It looks like they have some biotech here too. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll find out. So what school are we at here today? What is your name and what's your position at the school? Okay, we are at the school center. Uh, Biotechnical Educational Center in Ljubljana, Slovenia. My name is Boštjano Zimek and I'm a project coordinator. That means that I uh, coordinate different projects for, uh, funded by the European Union mainly, mm -hmm. uh, also from the Erasmus Plus program. Uh, that is a program funded by the European Union meant for the mobility of uh, students and staff teachers as well, right. uh, to promote mobility, uh, to gain knowledge in other European countries. So why do you think uh, it's important to promote m mobility? Um, what, do you, what do you think the benefit of that is? Uh, well, uh, it may be different from the US, but in the, uh, first of all in Europe people do not like to move from one place to another. We are very locally orientated and... Uh, Same way in the US. We, we, we would also... That is why the European Union would like to offer the youth the possibilities of uh, gaining a job where there's needs for uh, their training and right. uh, because they have certain knowledges but maybe in their local environment or in their country it is not possible to get a job, but in the other country it is possible. And through the European mobility, you not just that you gain the knowledge from your professional field, but you can also know the system, how the system in the other countries work, how, the, how to get a job there, how to get the paperwork done. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to know with the locals, you get to know new languages, uh, you broaden your horizons. Uh, yeah, sure, you educate yourself. What, what countries have you not visited in terms of tourism, but have you visited in terms of business to see other educational models? What other countries have you gone to? Um, well, I personally have been in Norway, Finland, mm -hmm. Sweden, uh, Denmark, Spain, uh, the Netherlands, England, uh, France and Belgium. And out of those countries, which model did you like the best or you thought it was the best? I think that uh, Finland model is something that we would all like to reach. Strive for. Strive for, we right. strive for that. Uh, but uh, the system of funding there is very much different from our system. They also uh, invest quite a lot of money on a national level in the education, uh, much more than Slovenia. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look through their GDP and our GDP, and there are differences is on the system level, then there are also differences on the uh, provider's level as well. I know we're going to go through a presentation. What, what do they teach at this school? Um, well, we have nine uh, vocational education programs on secondary level uh, and then we have two uh, vocational uh, programs on the vocational college level. Mm -hmm. That means when you finish secondary education, you can go to the college level, but it is a two-year college. It is called vocational college. It mm -hmm. is not a university program. It's like a junior college, I think, yes, in the U.S. Yes, um, But the kids can start... Students can start as early as what, age 15? Age, fif age 15. After they finish their primary education, mm -hmm. they come here if they want to join any of our educational programs. Do you actually go to other s the lower secondary schools and recruit? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. a big part of it? Yes, it's a quite big part of it. Mm -hmm. We've been in the, this school year that is now finishing, 
In the school year 17-18, we have been uh, visited approximately 50 to 50, around 50 primary schools. Mm -hmm. uh, we, oh, you we, get them in early. Uh, yes, we we uh, we visited them when they are finishing because the primary schools are also preparing uh, like fairs for the other schools right. uh, because the students uh, they uh, get feedback from their students mm -hmm. and they uh, invite different schools on secondary level right. to come and to present themselves with their educational programs and what are they doing so that the youngsters can decide more easily mm -hmm. and have the more information. Uh -huh. And it's my understanding that a lot more kids choose this option than the gymnasium. Uh, yes, the situation turned, let's say, in the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, more, stu more and more students are interested in vocational education. Uh, because uh, after the independence in the early, in the late 19s and the beginning of the 21st century, we had uh, quite a big problem because a lot of students wanted just to go to gymnasiums to mm -hmm. get general education and then go to studies. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but the labor market uh, didn't have uh, jobs for them. There were no jobs for the university educated people, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the vocational education was quite suffering. But now the system, the situation is turning. The uh, vocation and that you are able to do something uh, is gaining more popular, uh, is uh, getting not just more popular, but also is getting the reputation back mm -hmm. that it lost in some way. Mm -hmm. We even don't know how much. So the situation is turning. When did the EU start pumping a lot of money into the program? Mobility here? programs. E well, into the vocational programs. Um, what year? The, we joined the EU in 2004. Mm -hmm. And the first budget that we as a uh, country were included, uh, I think it was between 2007 to 2013, mm -hmm. uh, and in that budget we got quite a lot of money because we ha we totally reorganized vocational education at mm -hmm. that time. Okay, all right. Well, I know I know you're going to take us through. I, again, do, you, do they have culinary at this school? Uh, what? Uh, Gastronomic. Uh, yes. Food. Yes. Yes, yeah. as well. uh, on vocational uh, college level, the not on the secondary, uh, secondary level, no, but yeah. on in because vocational college. Because we saw college, yes. a store out there on the way. A uh, small it, store yes, sells. I will tell you something about what the store means for us. Okay. You can visit the store, but I, will, I would like you that you have everything in perspective, if you can uh, look it through our eyes. Sure. How, how do we see the store? For you, maybe, as a customer, it's... In general, it's a store where you can buy bread and sweets, yeah. but for us it is something else. Well, I saw something similar to this when I was in Finland. Oh, you did? So, yeah, I visited uh, nine vocational schools over there. Okay, it, it is, uh, it is uh, it, for us it is a learning facility. Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, because uh, we have programs like baker and confectioner, Mm -hmm. uh, and because we have facilities for practical education of bakers and confectioners, that means that certain products during their practical education are made, produced, yeah. produced uh, and that is why uh, we decided many years ago that we should put these products on the market. Mm -hmm. So, when this building was built in 2005, our principal that is now already retired, our director at that time, had already thought in advance and said that he wanted to have a store outside. Yeah. And this store uh, gained a certain broader perspective because in the selling of the products we also included our students, bakers and uh, pastry makers. That means that uh, they are involved, they are, we have two traders that are selling and also we have students that are um, presenting uh, new products to the customers uh, and they are also helping uh, to the two persons that are employed in there mm -hmm. and that means they can get feedback from the customers on site. Mm -hmm. and that means the customer 
uh, tasted this bread and the reaction is this, this, mm -hmm. this. That means when we are, I get into production, I have the feedback from the customers, uh, we can change something. And that means how uh, everything should work in real life environment. Do they sell it at a discounted price compared to uh, the prices are a bit lower, yes. Than the market. Yes, yeah. prices are a bit lower, but you have to take into the consideration that this is a school store. All right. That means not all the products are gonna be state of the art. All right. They are edible. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them, but yeah. maybe the outsides, uh, sure. they're not going to look like something that's... But uh, a lot of the community buys here. Yes, yeah. <laughs> quite a lot. That's good. Quite a lot. All right, perfect. Quite a lot. Well, let's... Okay, let's start. Uh, this is, uh, as I already said, Biotechnical Educational Center. This is a school center. Um, 